it may be the middle of winter, but that doesn't mean that gardening season is over. Here are our four favorite ways to extend the growing season and continue to grow healthy and delicious food right at home. Nourishing food is hard to come by in the stores these days, and if you can find it, it's usually pretty expensive. My family and I have found a few ways to extend the gardening season without putting in too much extra effort. Among our favorites are our year-round greenhouse, our coal frame, row covers, and growing plants indoors. If you're looking for more methods for growing your own food, then follow along. My family's cattle panel greenhouse allows us to grow food in the dead of winter, as well as get a head start on the growing season come springtime. So a greenhouse is basically like a giant cold frame, where the heat from the sun gets trapped inside the greenhouse, keeping the plants warm, as well as protecting them from the harsh elements and weather that often happens during the winter time. So this year, we are growing in our, for the winter time, we are growing things like kale, we have Swiss chard, I believe that we're growing some spinach back here, but in the summertime, uh, we can grow all sorts of things. We like to use it as a place to start our seeds, and we also grow various things, like last year we had loofah growing in here, which was a bit of a mistake because it took over the entire greenhouse. But we also used it to grow tomatoes and zucchini, and then again, some more um, greens. So if you are interested in learning how we built this cattle panel greenhouse, then check out the links in the description box. There are links to the cattle panel greenhouse video, as well as an article on the blog at homemadehomestead.com where you can learn how we built this greenhouse. Gardening doesn't have to be limited to the warm summer months. Did you know you can garden in the winter even if you live in a northern state? On our Ohio homestead, a coal frame is an essential garden structure. Our wooden coal frame, similar to a miniature greenhouse, allows us to expand our growing season by growing crops throughout the winter months. We grow everything from cilantro, tatsoi, and kale to claytonia and parsley. There are a variety of ways to create a cold frame. It can be something as simple as a few hay bales and an old glass tabletop or PVC pipes and plastic sheeting. Our DIY cold frame is reminiscent of frames from the late 19th century. You can learn how we built our cold frame by clicking on the links in the description box. A floating row cover is like adding a blanket over your plants to protect them from frost, light freezes, and even snow or fierce wind. A row cover tends to be a low to the ground tunnel built from a variety of materials like fencing wire or PEX pipe for plumbing. Typically, row covers are better for moderate climates or spring or fall crops, but you can still use them throughout the winter. Unfortunately, about a month ago, we had a terrible cold snap and several of our cold weather crops under the row covers didn't make it. The plants we do have growing under the row covers were kale, Swiss chard, cabbage, and some other greens. Growing plants indoors is one of the easiest ways to extend your growing season. With a sunny window and a few pots, you can grow herbs, greens, and even miniature tomato plants, which we did a couple years ago. My favorite way to grow food indoors is using the Bioset Germinator Kit from Johnny Seeds. With just a teaspoon of seeds and a little water, I can grow radishes, alfalfa, broccoli, I can sprout wheat berries, beans, clovers, and a bunch of other things. They are a great nutrient-dense addition to our soup, salads, and sandwiches when greens aren't readily available during the cold winter months. Plus. 
This bioset kit comes with seeds already in the kit and it's a really hands-off type of kit because I don't have to worry about things molding or mildewing or any kind of bacteria. I just put the seeds in, water them, and within about four days, they're ready to be eaten. There are so many ways to extend your gardening season and grow food year round. Share in the comments below to tell me what is your favorite way to continue gardening year round or what is your favorite way to grow food during the winter, whether that's indoors or outdoors. Alright, well have a fantastic week friends.